Hi everyone, welcome to the coffee modding channel. Do you also enjoy AAA plus fantasy action games like For Honor, Near Automata, Elden Ring and Dragon's Dogma? Just to name a very few, well, here is a continuation of my previous video, how to make Skyrim an AAA plus action game. In that video, I provided a super short peek into high quality combat animation mods, or as we call it in the community, movesets. In this video, you will focus only on such movesets. In order, the four honor moveset, Dragon's Dogma, Elden Rim, and Anchor are demonstrated and described in this video. After you watch, choose the one you like the most and install to your Skyrim. MCO and Open Animation Replacer are required. Watch my previous video if you need more installation info. For Honor is a game that introduces classes and each class has their intended weapon. Conqueror is a class that uses a mace and shield, so in Skyrim this mod replaces the mace and shield animation. Aramusha replaces dual swords, Peacekeeper the dagger and sword, Warden the great sword and so on. Some of these movesets also go beyond vanilla weaponry and requires additional mods that add pikes, javelins and spears for the Nobushi, Valkyrie and Gladiator animations. I've been a silent fan of Creme Brulee ever since the release of Cadesp. A unique animation mod based on both original idea and animation. Cadesp improved the player's stored animation in accordance with the one-handed skill level. Creme Brulee's latest animation endeavor is the Dragon Dogma series, consisting of sword and shield, greatsword and dual daggers. I highly recommend you try all of these and press that endorsement button. The sword and shield includes a new shield bash animation, something that is often forgotten, and I really like the great sword power attack which makes you run ahead ramming into any enemies in the way. ESPs are included with these animations, so different attacks can be performed depending on the timing of button presses. Elden Rim is most likely a play of words, combining Elden Ring and Skyrim. Elden Rim is a project made out of two mod pages, one for the moveset and one for the weapon arts. This weapon arts project adds a new skill tree, which is optional but closely tied in to the moveset. So it makes sense to use the moveset and weapon arts together. This combat modding project has been in development by Black for at least a year by now and I can really feel the effort on my skin. A wide list of co-creators are also listed on the mod page, namely Achang, Archli, Dietry, the Bella Bless and Ju Lun. Weapon animations are not as smooth looking as the previous ones, but they do add new prompts to the mechanics. Certain attacks will bash enemies to the ground rather than just stagger them. What I want to say is that Elden Rim is packed to the brim with animations, magic, new stagger systems, crafting, skills and more. It is one of those mods that need a dedicated playthrough, a fresh palette if you will, to be tasted fully like fine wine. This mod has really come a long way and now there is so much new stuff to try out so I'm going to do that after this video. Anchor is pretty much the master of stylish combat animations, and you can tell because out of all the mods in this video, this is the only one behind a paywall. But paying the price of a candy bar to get access to a complete animation overhaul by someone with years of experience is worth it. In addition to overhauling every vanilla weapon with original animations, an ESP named Anchor Weapon Package is also added. Use Add Item Menu or Simple Item Spawner to open that ESP and get access to the weapons. We get Monster Hunter Greatsword, Virgil's Yamato Katana from Devil May Cry, a spear with an original spear animation I think, 
unless I just don't recognize it, and a shiny sword. Each of these weapons come with their own combat animation bundled to them. When equipped with the Monster Hunter Greatsword, you perform moves from the game Monster Hunter. With the Yamato, you get Virgil's moves from DMC and can transform to devil form even. The spear was recently updated too and it has two cool. Some weapons have more features than others. The Vanilla Replacer Greatsword animation takes inspiration from the famous manga Berserk. At low health, you can activate a Berserk mode and if you press back plus power attack, you shoot a mini crossbow from the arm, just like Guts. My personal favorite is still the Warhammer animation. It has not been updated since release, but it does not need to be. It feels so heavy and authentic, no other Warhammer animation or SFX feels as good as the Anchor Warhammer. And yeah, Anchor also made a Sephiroth boss fight. Sephiroth is basically at the same level as Ebony Warrior, but with a custom MCO moveset. As a thank you for watching to the end and liking the video, let me tell you about an MCO overhaul for Bow and Arrow. That is right, Bow and Arrow animations are not often included in MCO mods, but Smooth made Bow Rapid Combo version 3. This adds the ability to sidestep and backstep while shooting, and also to perform melee attacks with kicks and a secondary dagger while still having the Bow and Arrow equipped. I have always played Skyrim as a warrior, but this made me determined to finally play a rogue character. Combine that with Dragon's Dogma, Dual Daggers and the new Elden Rim skill tree and I am sure to be in for a really fun playthrough. But then again, maybe I should play like a mage. A week ago, Shepiao released the Dragon Age Staff moveset for MCO and the Blade Staffs of Skyrim. By equipping a Fate Stone of Fire, Ice or Shock, I can choose which elements to cast. This is brilliant for a Battle Mage playthrough. If that's something you don't want to miss, you're welcome to subscribe.